Today we start our unit on polynomials. Okay, we're starting our unit on polynomials. And before we can go any further into the unit, I need to make sure that you know what that word means. What is a polynomial? Can you break it down into its parts? What's poly mean? Or many, right? Multiple or many. And what's nomial mean? Any guesses? We're in math, right? So would it make sense if it's numbers? Numbers? We're going to even be more specific and say numbers or terms. Okay? Polynomials is many numbers or terms. Okay? So what about monomial? What does that mean? So one number. One. One number or term. Like what? Four. Two X. Three X squared. Do you see how those are all monomials? It's one number a term. This is a monomial, this is a monomial, and this, this is a monomial. Does that make sense? Those are all examples of monomials. What about a binomial? What's a binomial? Two numbers or terms. Well, how do I make a binomial? Um, good guess. Not uh, quite, but good guess. Adding or subtracting what? Another thing. Monomials, right? So 4 plus 2x is a binomial, isn't it? x plus 5 is a binomial. 3x minus 4 is a, bi is a binomial. And 2x to the 4th minus 1 <coughs> is a binomial, right? <coughs> Two monomials added or subtracted. Okay? Any questions? So what about a trinomial? And how do we create a trinomial? Three monomials. So give me an example. to the fourth power. That would be a trinomial, right? Because if I just put five, can't I combine these two terms and wouldn't that be a binomial then? Right? So they can't be like terms, can they? They have to be all different. Mm -hmm. X squared plus five X oh. plus six is also a trinomial. <coughs> okay? Now, here's the difference. This second trinomial that I wrote down is in standard form. Well, this first one that we wrote down is a trinomial, but it's not in standard form. Can you tell me what that means to be in standard form? It has more than one variable. Good guess. It does have something to do with the variables. Specifically, the exponents on the variables. What's this exponent? Two, and this one? One, and this one? Doesn't have one, right? So. Exactly right, okay? It's decreasing order of exponents. That's what it means to be in standard form. Is there anything wrong with this trinomial? Not at all. Especially if all we're trying to do is identify the trinomial, right? What kind of polynomial it is, right? Now, I, I would not be happy, you would not be happy if we said put this in standard form and this is what we wrote as our answer, would we? Because that would not be in standard form, would it? Okay? Do you understand the vocabulary that we're going to need for this chapter? What about four numbers or terms? What about five numbers or terms? You think we could make up words that would mean that? Yeah, yeah but usually, for us anyways, once we get to trinomial, it's going to just be poly after that, polynomial. Okay? Does that make sense?
I mean, we could say quadnomial, like you said, right, to, to mean four numbers or terms, but mm, after three, we mostly just say polynomial. Does that make sense? So today we're just starting off, we're just trying to ease our way into polynomials chapters. So we're going to start off by adding and subtracting. Okay? When we add and subtract, all <coughs> we can add and subtract <coughs> is like terms. That's it. Okay? How do you know if something is like terms? Are these two like terms? Yes. How do you know that? Yes. The variables and the exponents are? exactly the same, right? So if I have 2x squared plus 3x squared, what does that end up being? 5x squared. That's very good. What do you think is the most popular wrong answer? 5x fourth. 5x to the fourth is the most popular wrong answer, right? When we're adding and subtracting, we only mess with the coefficients. <coughs> 2 plus 3 is 5. I have 5x squared. Does that make sense? Another way to look at this, you don't have to write this down, okay? If I have two x squared, isn't that that? Yeah? And then if I add three more x squared, isn't it that? So how many total x squared do I have? Five. I have five x squared, right? I don't mess with the exponent. I just mess with the coefficients. And what does coefficient mean again? The number in front. Exactly, okay? Are these like terms? 5x minus 3x. So yes, they are like terms, right? And once again, we only mess with the coefficients. So I get 2x, right? What's the most popular wrong answer? 2, right? The x doesn't go away. There's 5x's and I took 3 away, so there's 2x's left. Does that make sense? Okay, what about this problem? 4x to the third plus 2x squared. What's the answer? I can't, right? They're not like terms, so what's the answer? No solution. It's just 4x to the third plus 2x squared. Because I can't um, combine like terms doesn't mean I can't still have those two things adding together, right? Because once I know what x is, I could substitute it in and get an actual uh, integer for my number, for my answer, can't I? Okay? Any questions? Do you need a whole lot of examples of adding and subtracting? No. Yeah, I, ho I was hoping not, right? Because I, was, I just want to remind you, first of all, we can only add like terms, right? And then I wanted to remind you that we don't mess with the variables, or the exponent, excuse me, when we are adding and subtracting. We're good? Any questions?